and I will <laughs> never be ashamed of any type of coping mechanism. Blah, blah, blah. I'll never be ashamed of any type of coping mechanism. <laughs> Can't say this word. <laughs> hey friends. Hey friends. Hey friends. It's me, Alana. Welcome back to my channel. You're all you are all some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, it is me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. So this video isn't gonna be fun for anyone. <laughs> it's not gonna be fun to film, it's not gonna be fun to edit, probably not gonna be fun to watch. But I felt it was necessary to make. Um I know a lot of Black booktubers have already posted videos and I definitely encourage you to watch them because all of our voices matter, all of our voices deserve to be heard, and all of our truths deserve to be told. And not every black experience is going to be the same, so definitely don't assume that. And I had debated on whether I really wanted to make this video because I felt like some people had already done it, but then I just really thought about it and I figured, like, why not share my thoughts and feelings and all that stuff because it's important and we need to use our voices. I watched Jasmine's video yesterday and honestly her video is what inspired me to decide to do this uh, because she talked about how like we need to use all of our platforms to use our voices and so I have definitely been doing that on Twitter. Um, I've been trying to do it on Facebook. We all know how Facebook is but I figured it was probably time I should do it on here. I know on my, my vlog, my May vlog, I did voice a little bit at the end, but I feel like now I've had a chance to really like process everything and I'm still angry, but like I feel like I can even articulate my thoughts even better. So yeah, <laughs> that's like a long way of me saying that I wanted to do this discussion video. <laughs> I encourage you to check out all the videos that have come out already. I'm gonna link all those videos down in the description box, so if you're interested in checking out those channels and those booktubers, definitely do so. And the sad thing is that like all of us making these videos, this isn't the first time black creators have made these videos, and I have it's hard for me to say, but I doubt it's the last time. And that's just like what's sad. As you know, <laughs> as it's been like a week, uh, the protests and everything are still going strong. And honestly, I'm so blown away. And I admire every protester that has gone out there because I know it's hard and it hasn't been easy. And honestly, they haven't even really gotten to peacefully peacefully protest really until recently like without police intervention or violence or assault taking place and so i'm so glad that we kept fighting and that like everybody exercised their voice i'm not gonna lie it's definitely been a hard week i've definitely avoided some people and embraced others and i'm not ashamed of that uh it's just how I coped. I will never be ashamed of any type of coping mechanism that is healthy for you and helps you make it through really tough times. I feel like I've run like the longest marathon of my life this week and I physically was not running. Like I guarantee you I don't like running so it's it's so weird like how exhausted I feel and yeah I'm not surprised and like it it didn't really <laughs> I guess it didn't really 
hit me like how much I had been dealing with until my best friend texted me and she's white and I love her to death and she has been very very vocal about everything going on on Facebook and making sure she talks to her bosses and all the kind of stuff which I love her for um, and she like texted me one night and she was just like I don't know how you're doing this like I don't know how you're you're getting through it like she's like my soul is breaking right now and I do I'm sobbing and I like was sitting there and I was comforting her which I didn't mind doing but at the same time I was just like I don't even know like I think I've just become numb to it after so many years of seeing person after person after person get killed wrongfully for just existing like how do you not become numb to it especially when nobody believes you or wants to fight for you or wants to voice how wrong that is for you besides the people who look like you the people who are getting murdered like it's insane i didn't even want to hear i also want to say that i acknowledge that it is a privilege that i could even feel numb to this because obviously that's not how everybody feels and that's not how all of this racism and killings affect everybody. One of the other things that I was really thinking about for this video was just like, how many people stayed silent that had a platform to really see something? It's, especially in this community, like as people who wanna read diverse books, as people who want to promote diverse authors, like you would think they would wanna speak out for diversity and for equality. I saw like a bunch of people posting this Instagram post about how people shouldn't bully other people into speaking out and honestly I was so angry when I read that because like how self-righteous do you have to be to feel like you're being bullied into speaking against something that is wrong murder like you're speaking out against murder and you feel that you're being bullied to do that you should want to do that i'm sorry but if you are in this community and you claim that the black booktubers in this community are your friends and have been your friends for a while you shouldn't feel bullied to speak out you should be the first one to speak out and if you feel bullied to speak up for for your friends then maybe you should really do some self-reflection on why that's how you feel. The fact that you can't even use your voice to fight for their equality is disgusting. I, I think that's what bothered me after seeing those posts because it was like the white booktubers doing it. And I was like, I've seen you post about your black friends on booktube and how much you love them. And you can't take the time to make one simple post saying that you love and support them and that you think what's going on is wrong because you don't want to get political it's not a political issue it's a humanities issue like people should not be dying right now because of the color of their skin and i've noticed some other people who are like oh well like as a christian i shouldn't speak out on politics or whatever but it's like no as a christian you should be speaking out for people who are dying like i'm a christian i'm not coming for anybody's faith or anything like that but Jesus w Jesus was with the people. He walked with the people. He touched the people. He spoke out for the people. So I don't know what Bible you've been reading because like all we want to do is just be able to exist without being hated for the color of our skin and for how we look for something we can't control. Okay, and I also want to acknowledge my privilege because I am lighter skinned. So I am more white passing and of course the black people who have darker skin tones than me are gonna have uh, even probably worse experiences and stories and all that kind of stuff so I want to acknowledge that too because that definitely does play a role in a lot of things and I do want to say also to all those people who are going up to mixed bookish creators and telling them that they weren't really black and that they didn't have a right to speak on this that's rude and that's disgusting and we are just as black as everybody else. 
So you can just go away with your ignorance, please. I think that's just what like kind of hurt out of all of this within the community. It was just like seeing some of the bigger numbered people like not wanting to speak out unless somebody forced them to or had a conversation with them. And then for them to come back and say they were bullied, like that's not fair. In regards to like this in the book community, like I've noticed, I've definitely noticed all of the growth the black tubers, including myself, have gained. And I hope this continues. I hope you genuinely watch our content and genu genuinely want to be here. Like, I love that you're all here. I love that you all subscribed, but I really hope you're here for me and for my content and not because you feel guilty or whatever else uh i really hope it's not because you're trying to claim me as your token black person because i've had enough of that in my life and i don't need it anymore on this safe space that i've created if you are here for genuine reasons then thank you i love you i'm so glad you're here i hope that we can connect over books and anything else happening in our lives i also want to say that i am very appreciative of all the friends who have messaged me, who have tweeted uh, all the links and retweeted and uh, just spoken out and used their voice because honestly, I value everyone who did that this past week because it showed me like who really cares and who is really like behind me and people who look like me and yeah, so. I don't really know what else to say. I hope this video wasn't too long. I hope everything I said made sense. If not, then I greatly apologize. I I wish I could list some bookstagrammers. I'm still new to bookstagram, so I'm not, like I'm still trying to navigate and find some cool creators. So once I do, I definitely wanna create a list of those for you all too, if you're interested in bookstagram. Um, for right, but for right now, I'm just gonna list some black content creators in the description below. Some of them are some that I just found that I think are making such great content and I'm surprised I haven't, well I'm not surprised I haven't seen them before because of the fact that like YouTube's algorithm is shit, but uh, I want to shed light on them because I definitely believe they deserve high numbers, high praise, high love, and some of them I've followed for however long I've been on this channel, and I still think they deserve just as much, too. So, that's all. This is probably, hopefully, maybe, probably not the last time I'll make one of these videos. So, yeah. Alright, you are all some flowers in a world full of weeds. I hope you are having a great reading month. I hope you are using your voices wisely and safely, and... I love you all, so I'll see you in my next video.